Hey, welcome to Passion to Automated Biz channel, guys. This is Ronald Shin. I'm a coach, I'm a course creator, and I'm software enthusiast, okay? I love automation tools. All right, so uh, today I'm gonna walk you through how you can create a mini course that converts, all right? Now, think about it. Uh, if you're watching this video, if you are a coach, or maybe you are a course creator, or maybe you are a consultant or affiliate marketer who wants to leverage your mini course in your business, and this video is, going, uh, is for you guys, okay? So before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and please give thumbs up and I'll be I'll totally, totally appreciate that. All right, so, right, let's think about what is mini course, okay? You have to understand uh, uh, how you can utilize your mini course in your business, okay? You are not just gonna make, a, make any mini course you wanna create and just put it out. Well, I used to do that, okay? I you uh, I start creating my uh, mini courses since uh, three years ago, and yeah, I had many trial and errors. Um, you know, I flopped many times. I even trying to put it into Udemy, uh, trying to make some money and blah blah. But you know, it wasn't it wasn't really easy. Uh, I went through so many trial and errors, and then uh, in 2022, I utilized a, a mini trainings and my mastermind course to build. Uh, multi six figure business in 2022. So I'm going to show you really good tip and tricks how you can create your own mini uh, mini online course in very short time. Okay. So first, what is mini course? We utilize mini course in many different cases. Number one, uh, very simple form of mini course is we are giving away for free to collect people's email list. All right. It's kind of lead magnets. All right. And second thing is you can actually turn your mini course into a low ticket. Uh, for the low ticket from my experience um you know selling it by organic method is pretty hard because organic ma organic marketing is awesome but there's always limitations so uh if you are tr thinking about using uh paid ads then uh, creating a mini course as a low ticket will be really good way to acquire high quality leads and you can also ascend them to your high ticket offers later on. It's a really good way of doing it. So then how do we really create that, okay? So now I'm gonna go into my whiteboard and I'll show you the step-by-step -step so you guys, you guys can actually start using this uh, formula so you can build your own mini course in very short time. Sometimes you can create in three days, all right? So first thing is, before whatever you want to create in your own uh, in your business, think there's something uh, that you have to go through when you're starting out. All right, number one, who is your target audience? Okay, uh, because if you don't know your target audience, then there's no way you can actually create a solution to your people because your mini course is kind of, it's like solving some kind of problem all the time. Think about it. Why is the what is the reason that people has to you know get into your mini training? It could be free or it could be paid. What's the reason? Because people are looking for the solution, looking for information so they can actually do something in your, their business, right? So in order to find out what could be the solution that we can give it out to people so they can get their outcome, the results, we have to know who we are talking to. We have to know who our target audience are. So think about who is your target audience right now okay uh, you know you have to go deeper into it don't say something like all oh, my target audiences are affiliate marketer look affiliate marketing is just a marketing niche i mean i mean it, it, it's just a niche all right it's not a target audience all right so for example if you're a coach okay i'm targeting diet coaches well it's just a niche it's not actually your target audience so please narrow it down a little bit go deeper and who and write it down who could be your target audience okay then second thing is um trying to list it out minimum five to about 15 pain points of your target audience what could be their pain points right now okay um you can actually research this in very simple ways number one you can go to Quora. You can ask for people or you can type it in your niche and see what people are talking about in that market, okay? Number two, you can actually go into Facebook uh, or maybe uh, TikTok or Instagram and trying to do some kind of very simple surveys, all right? Ask people questions. Hey, who is going through this problem right now? What could be the most big struggle that you are going through right now? Let me know, something like that. Right? You can do some kind of survey. Also, what you can do is you can actually go into some kind of private groups uh, in Facebook 
and then see and look at what people are talking and what people are asking every single day. And that could that is those are the real pains and struggles people are talking about in, in this market right now. So trying to think through it and think about what could be the struggle, pain points, you know, all those things that your target audience are going through in this market currently right now. List it out, five to 15 pain points, okay? Number three, then once you list this, all the pain points and trying to think about how you can solve this each, it could be five to maybe 15, right? It could be five, 10, 15, list it out. So for example, if you, have, if you list it out, all these 15 pain points and think about how you can solve these problems, solutions, right? It's a solution, right? So list it out, all the solutions, the possible solution that you can give, uh, give to this, uh, from these pain points, okay? List it out. Now, number four, once you are done from, uh, from, from uh, number one to number three, target audience, pain points, and solution, now you can actually start thinking about then which one of the pain points could be something very small, okay? Something small but very specific and something simple, something easy that people can actually uh, solve their problem fast so they can get their uh, outcome faster. Because your mini training is not a mastermind course. Don't try to uh, join, don't try to uh, like, like solve all the problem through your mini training. It's not gonna happen, okay? Think about it. You know, what could be the, in making money online niche, what is the main problem or main pain points that people are hopping into this uh, online space in making money online niche? Yeah, what is it? Number one thing is I want to make money. That's right. Then how can you solve the problem in mere mini course? It's impossible. That is for the mastermind course. So for example, if you want to solve all these five to maybe 15 pain points of your target audiences, then this becomes if you can solve all these pain points, then means that is we call a mastermind course, right? Now, mini course is not solving all the problem from A to Z. No, we are actually giving them uh, one specific small problem to that solution. I mean, that uh, we are giving them a solution to those very specific small problems so they can move forward. All right, that is what mini course is, and that is how you deliver the result fast you must deliver the results fast, okay? This is how you start creating your mini course. This is where everything starts, okay? So once you can actually pick one of these five, maybe five to maybe 15 pain points and, and then uh, all the solution to that, all, all, all the solution to these pain points, then think through it and pick one of the one or two problems that that could be small but very specific and something that you can actually give them a solution right away through your mini course so they actually get can get some value or maybe results maybe outcome and then last part is if after you pick one or two uh, uh one of the very specific very small something they can solve right away then Think about what is the outcome through that outcome. Because once you go through this step one through step five and give them an outcome in the end, then you can make a title of your mini course. Then your mini course is ready to start. Pretty simple, right? That's right. It's not hard. It's just that you have to know exactly who your target audiences are and trying to think about maybe minimum five to 15 pain points they are going through right now and trying to uh, solve all those problems in your, uh, in your, from, from your experience. And then once you listed everything out, go through it one more time and pick one or two very small but very specific the pain points and then give those solutions. And then that is the outcome that you can deliver through your mini training. Okay, it's like this guys, mini training, uh, it could be paid or it could be free. Your mini training is going to be like your first impression to your audience, your leads, your client, 
because if they don't see any value in your mini training, there's no way you can ascend these people into your high ticket offer and it's not going to happen. It's going, you will struggle again. So always think through this. This is how I, uh, how I create my own mini course. Okay. And then once I know what kind of outcome I can give to them, then I start creating my uh, actual title of a mini course. And that's where I start structuring my mini course. It's very simple and easy way to do that, guys. Okay. So I hope you got some lot of value today. And it's very easy to follow, guys. Okay. So then how do we do that? So once you uh, go through all this, all right, go through all this and then um, think about the, what is the last outcome through that, uh, the, 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 the problems and solution that you picked, something small, very specific, and think about what could be the outcome out of that. And then once you uh, figure that out, then you can actually create a title of your mini course and then you are ready to go. So I'm going to erase this. Now I'm going to go back to uh, my software, which I'm using in my business. And I'll show you how we create a course in very simple, easy steps. Okay. Now, uh, this software is GoFunnel Box. This is Y labeled, uh, powered by Y labeled uh, Go High Level. And then I'm the founder of GoFunnel Box. And actually, all my business are running through this GoFunnel Box. Okay. So um, if I show you, before I show you how we create a course, uh, let me uh, show you my actual real uh, online uh, course that I'm running right now. Uh, I'm going to go into the site. I'm going to go into the product. Now, if you see here, Okay, these are the all actual my online course I'm currently running right now in 2023. Okay, DOD 1.0 is high ticket secret for it's 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 pretty it's, it's uh one of the entry point high ticket offer that I uh, offer to people, but this is for the like entry point for the beginners. DOD 2.0 is automated group organic group method. It is a very high advanced course. It's uh, another another high level high ticket offer, and then DOD three day kickstart is the free training that I give away for free. All right, but there's huge value in it. Um, I already have about more than 800 people enrolled it since last year, um, last year around November. And Organic Group Accelerator and Fast Cash is another uh, upsell that I give to them when people go through my uh, free training. Okay, these are the, my upsell. So um, this is how I structure my course. Then how do I create this course with my GoFundMe box now? Before I show you how I do it, now I'm using GoFundMe Box for, for many reasons. Okay, number one, yes, it's my business. Number two, uh, number two is um, I used to use ClickFunnel to build a funnel. Also, I, I used to use ClickFunnel to build a courses, and afterwards, and I start using Kajabi. Um, yeah, but the thing is, these all platforms are very good, which will be awesome. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still using ClickFunnels. And for other businesses, but the thing is, it was, it's very expensive. It's very expensive for any coaches or course creators or free marketers start using it because uh, if you're trying to use ClickFunnel, Kajabi, and and some auto uh, uh, auto responders and calendaries and SMS, ManyChat, and all that, I used to pay about five hundred dollar per month for only using these softwares. Okay, it's a lot of money we have to put it out. So. I was actually looking for some solution that I can save my money. At the same time, I can do all my job in one single place. So that's when I found out a cool high level. And then I, uh, um, I white labeled it and I rebranded it into my own brand, which is GoFunnel Box. And I, I'm entirely migrate all the, all my business, my funnels, my, my courses, my emails, all into one single place. So GoFunnel Box is actually all in one marketing software tool which I can create unlimited number of funnels, websites, right? I, I have all the websites here and you can build a, a blogs. Okay. You can build an unlimited number of courses if you want to. Actually, I'm uh, adding more courses here right now and I can build the surveys, uh, quizzes and many more. Okay. And then uh, you can also connect all your payments uh, right here. Okay. Uh, for example, you can uh, I, right now, these are the uh, payment that I'm using right now. So you can actually connect your own Stripe account or PayPal or other uh, like uh, credit card services in one, just one click. And then you can collect an, um, uh payment from here. And then you can have unlimited number of contacts. And then there are so many things that I'm using right now. And recently, we just integrated uh, ChatGPT into our uh, Go Funnel Box. And this interface is actually uh, customized 
interface. It's not like raw uh, interface coming from uh, OpenAI. No, it's not. Actually, uh, inside the core engine is ChatGPT from OpenAI, but the interface and everything is actually we customized it. We have done some work and and then people so people can actually use it really easily okay with this tool uh, we totally optimized into mostly into uh, sales copy uh, content writing uh, scripts seo keywords and so on and so our uh, users our clients are so, uh, so our client can use this very easily all right so it's really awesome guys so let's go into our uh, course creation here so first things first i'm gonna go into my dummy account so i can show you from scratch how we use this uh go funnel box to create our all our first membership area and and start creating our mini course okay so first thing um in here in go funnel box it's very easy to use everything is in one single place guy you don't need to go into like another tab open another tab another tab go into click funnel and go to kajabi get back and forth you don't need to do that everything has is already inside of one single place so you don't need to uh, go through all that so it's really awesome so uh in order to create a course in go funnel box uh there's a few steps you have to go through first thing is uh right now on the top menu sub menu you will see membership okay that is where we start we start creating a course so before we start uh creating a, a actual course we saw we we first have to uh optimize uh, your membership area settings okay so it's like this right now if you see uh here uh, mem there's membership there's product and there's offer right i'll explain to uh, to you guys what that is okay membership is entire big place it's like a, it's like a mall right membership is a mall like a big place right and then inside of membership there's many different offers offer a i offer one offer two offer three yeah you can create many different offers as you want now inside the offer you can actually put in your products your product is actual real course okay so offer one could be product a offer two has product a and b yeah, offer uh, three has another uh, different product d and e something like that you can actually put it in different uh, product into it so now this is how the membership works okay so first things first we have to go to settings and then once you go to settings all you need to do is just follow through it one at a time so we're going to go into site detail and this is the first thing you have to do so right now i kind of configure it uh, for the educational purpose so uh, site info title it, your this title is all about your membership area brand okay if you have a uh, name of your brand and name it so right now my coaching business name is dual die team so i shorten out as a dod team so that's my brand so dod team and then just follow it through it's very straightforward and just branding put your logo and favicon is what you see on the top on your browser that we call it favicon and blah, done and then make sure uh, people cannot download any video from your uh, course because it's not good so i will say save right then done your site detail is all done and then we go to custom domains now here uh, we use subdomains okay you don't need to create another new domain and buy another one another one another you don't need to do that if you have already have your main domain for example your domain.com then you can go into go uh, whatever the hosting you are using it could be GoDaddy, it could be namecheap it could be bluehost go back there and all you need to do is just go to cname in your DNA, uh, dns settings right and then just copy this one and then go into uh, your DNS setting and just go into C name. Your host name is going to be your subdomain subdomain name. It could be training dot your domain dot com, or maybe it could be membership dot your train dot com. It doesn't matter what name you use. Name it and just copy paste this one. Okay, and then you can come back and then just click add and it's automatically added to it. So then this link is going to be your membership area actual link. All right. So that's all you need to do. Now, email setting. Email setting, uh, we already have inside of GoFunder Box welcome uh, email. Okay. Uh, you can actually, you know, untoggle all this and just, you know, uh, make your own, you know, welcome email with your, their credential, login info, and all that. But I always use uh, pre built, um, you know, 
welcome email for our access to our course because uh, it's going to generate automatic password for uh, your clients so they can access to their course really easy. So I always use this. OK, so this is all you need to do. OK, then you can actually go to app setting. Now, app setting means um, it's not like right now, um, it's not like people have to go into your app on your mobile phone and then download some kind of app and then you know they can log into their uh, course, something like that. But it's not like actual app for our GoFounder box. We call it PWA. So when people uh, people like log into their course using their Chrome browser in your mobile phone, uh, on the top right, there is three dots. If you click it, it's gonna ask you, do you, would you like to add it to your home screen? All you need to do is just click yes, add it to my home screen. Then it, it, it's going to act like a mobile app. So people can access the course really easily in their mobile phone. They don't need to type it in all the time, okay? So that is what it is. And interface is just like a mobile app. If you see here, it's really awesome. Um, yeah, that's all you need to do. And then your setting is done. Then next thing is you have to go into product, okay? Uh, you have to go into your product. Right now, I already have one right here. So um, say for example, DOD 2.0, Right, um, this is just a, a raw uh, draft that I made for uh, the, for the education purpose. Okay, all you need to do is on the top right, create a new product, and then you will see these few options here. Now, Spring Course is the mini course. Okay, something that people can really you know go through really fast. It's a mini course. Spring Course is a mini course. We already give you like a built-in template so you guys can start creating your own mini course really fast. So uh, Spring Course is uh, what you, you're supposed to use when you're tr uh, trying to create a mini course. Marathon Course is uh, when you're trying to create a, um, you know, like, uh, like like a mastermind course, okay? Now, membership is like um, you can network with people, like, uh, you know, you can put some, uh, like, you know, information, quizzes, uh, um, like, interactions and also membership is like mostly like a recurring monthly fee if you want to charge them and that's when we use membership sites okay but usually when you create a course you're going to use only two sprint course or marathon course all right and then build your own means you can actually start from scratch by yourself so usually i like to start with sprint course because we can add as we go so you know that's all, I need, all you need to do so let's i'm going to click this and i'm going to name it as a test any course, and then create a product. Boom, you see, it's already giving all these uh, uh, basic templates right here. So let's see one by one, right? Interface, if you ever use Kajabi before, the interface is very similar to Kajabi. So it's very easy to use guys, okay? Once you made a video, just upload here. Now, the best part is, um, our GoFundMe box doesn't need any uh, hosting for like Vimeo or YouTube or Loom link. No, we don't need to do that. Uh, just drag and drop your video right here. And that's all you need to do, okay? It's going to be host your video unlimited number. So it's really awesome, okay? So host your video here and, and put the, some details of your course and then your, your video thumbnails. If you have any like files that you want to give to them, like PDF file or Google Sheet, something like that, then just click Add Files and then make sure you publish it and save. All right, that's it. It's a very simple thing, okay? And then you can actually do one by one. So if you want to uh, change this name into, right now it's course content, but if you want to change that into some kind of welcome module, then you can just click it. And then I'm going to change that into welcome module like that. If you want to put some description, if you want to, and then you can actually put some thumbnail for your module, totally fine. Also on a visibility, you can actually draft it, you can lock it, you can drip it too. It's, they, have, they have all the options that you need to do. So there are so many things you can do with this, okay? And then right now, welcome module, right? So welcome aboard, uh, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. Now, if you don't want this, you can actually come here, you can delete it too, right? You can delete it on the bottom, then this is gone. But if you want to add more course, all you need to do is come to your module part. This is, we call it category, and just click plus button, click add lesson, and I'm gonna say test lesson, and save. Boom, right now we have it here. So, and you can actually draft it or publish it as you go. 
So it's really cool. Um, this is very easy to use, guys. And then uh, once you put some videos here, then you got to make your product detail. Okay, you just created a membership entire detail, but now we are creating a very specific, your actual courses detail. So all you need to do is on the top, go to detail, right? And then make sure what, the, what is the name of your course? Your membership name is very different because as, as I said, your membership detail is all about your actual brand. Now, this is your course. So it could be like test mini course. Yeah, you can name it, make some descriptions and thumbnail of your brand. And then uh, there's a customization right here. You can put your name, your photo, your name, your title, bio, and then logo, Fabicon, and boom, and you're just to save. All right? That's all you need to do. It's very simple to do. Okay? Now, customize is you can actually choose three different kinds of a template that you want to use. So let's check it out, guys. Okay? Preview. All right? Uh, this is a classic version. Uh, this uh, This... This uh, design is very similar to uh, Kajabi. This is the one I use all the time, okay? It's all, it's, but it's your preference, guys, okay? And you can actually check this one out. And this is another design that you can actually utilize, right? And this is another design that you can actually utilize, right? There are three types of design you can utilize in your uh, course. Uh, it's up to you guys how you ever use it, okay? So once you choose one, all you need to do is just apply like this and we're going to go back customize come here and you can actually change the logo you can change the uh the banner the name text button color everything here you can customize it all in this place okay if you click here right now yes it's very easy to use guys um there's no confusion no complication very straightforward any uh even though you're not a ticket person any beginners can use it right away so that's why it's really awesome guys okay so uh that's all you need to do and then once you are done with customization then we have to create an offer once you create your product the last thing we do is we create an offer see if there's offer here right but this is not the way we create an offer on the membership area, you have to go to offers. And from here, on the top right, click create offer, put the name, and then you can also price it. Or you, if, it, if, if this is free, you don't need to put any number here, okay? Then it becomes a free course, okay? If you put any price of $1, $2, $3, then this course becomes uh, a paid course, okay? That's all you need to do. Once you create that, then right now I have a, 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 I already pre-made a free offer here, right? Do you see free offer? That's right. And then if we want to customize the checkout page, you already just click edit. And from here, you can actually, um, you know, change whatever you want. So you see price, free offer. Yeah, that's right. So um, this is how you create your course. It's very easy, very simple. Um, all you need to do is just follow you through it. And it's very, very simple to do. Then your job is done. And then, you yeah, then you can start uh, automate the whole thing and give it out to your clients so they can actually access your course. It's the only thing you need to do. It's very easy, guys. Once you make videos, putting out here and creating your online course doesn't take that long, really. You can do it like in two hours or maybe less than an hour. It's really fast, really easy to do. Um, um, all you need to do is just follow through it, guys. Any beginners can do this, guys, okay? So uh, I hope you got my video pretty well. And actually, I gave you all the tips and tricks how you can actually start creating your own, own mini course really quick, all right? Anybody can build a quick. Uh, anybody can build your course really quick, guys, okay? Think as, if you, if you already have your own expertise, please think about turn that into, your turn that your expertise into digital asset because digital asset is like a, real estate it's, it's, it's going to make you money every month every year all right always trying to utilize this to think about how you can create online course put, put it out so you can actually uh you know build your business really quick okay so uh that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this video now before i wrap up okay before i wrap up i actually teamed up with uh, one of the really amazing women and a coach uh, this woman is actually helping coaches how to build their coaching business, okay? So we actually teamed, uh, teamed up with this lady, and we actually do have um, teaching people uh, how to build your first online, uh, online mini online course uh, in three days. We call it a three-day uh, workshop. Uh, it's a really awesome course, guys. Um, if you are interested in hopping in, 
uh, it's only very limited spot. We don't actually bring a lot of people in because this this not this this workshop is actually we are doing it together all the time. So uh, make sure uh, if you wanna uh, join our three day workshop, just click uh, just check the link below description and you can join it. Now this workshop doesn't happen all the time because this is actual real live Zoom call. We do it together. So um, if you're really interested in, check the link below and then yeah, you can actually. Uh, sign up and be on wait list so we can invite you in to our next workshop and so on so uh, i hope i hope to see you inside and thank you so much guys bye bye